it's always fun when you have this this press conference because it's spring and we're getting ready to go. So with that, it'll open up with questions. Yeah, we saw your reaction to the Deontay Banks. Big look pretty excited. Um, just talk about what you like about him and, and how important it is it to have a cornerback like him in your defense? Well, I think it's important to have a cornerback like that in anybody's defense. Uh, he's, he's very instinctive. He's, you know, he... Uh, what, what's Ted Lasso say? He, he lives life like a goldfish. You know, he's got a short memory when things don't go right. So he's tough-minded. He's physical. He can tackle, and on top of that, he can run. So we're excited about it. He's he's getting into the groove. You know, he's still there's still some rookie mistakes, which you expect that, especially this early. But uh, we're really excited, and I was obviously really excited that we got him. It was like winning a scratch-off ticket. <laughs> Is, uh, is Joe Shane still have some marks on his back? From I that? hope so. <laughs> How much is, is the addition of Banks and the other guys that you brought in on the secondary going to help with that pass rush and getting home uh, more so? Yeah, I think that uh, you know you have to look at it the whole the whole picture. You know, people you know the quarterbacks get rid of the ball against us faster than most teams they play, um, and you know, like I said before, we face more max protection. Anybody else in the league gets a fact through PFF. So, you know, I, I think if you just limit it to just pass rush and sacking a quarterback, you're, you're not looking at it the right, the, the right way that I believe anyway. It might be the right way you believe, and that's fine. But uh, um, we're really excited about who we have and the additions we made, and it's still in process of, of what Joe and, and Dave's have done with the roster. We're still building on that. Why do you think that is that you face the most max? Because we know how to hit. Because we know how to hit the quarterback, Jordan. I mean, they they know it. I mean, it's, it's not like I'm being boastful either. They just know that that we know how to defeat protections. And if you ask any offensive coach in the league, they'll tell you that. If I could just clarify though, what I was asking. No worries. You, you had speed in the back end, so having guys that can keep up with the coverage, play man. I mean, does that help the pass rush? Even if it's just getting sure. back off the the mark. Yeah, sure it does. Yeah, it does with the additions we have, the D line and. Uh, you know, with uh, Bobby, you know, inside linebacker. Um, so that that's all going to help. You know, now it's just keep everybody healthy and let's keep going. What are you Bobby, most excited what? about? You mentioned Bobby, just being able to use him and, and kind of what you see. Him. Which Bobby? Bobby, okay. Okay. Oh, and you got you spell you know how to say his last name. I like it. <laughs> all right. Uh, I I mean it's 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 fun to watch him play. You know, because of his size, his, his strength, but. You know, most of all, he's a, he's a good guy, and you know he's a really intelligent kid that knows football, and it's not hard to talk football with him. So all those things have been been great, and we just got to get ready to take the next step, which for me is vacation. <laughs> Wink, when you look at Banks, I mean the possibility is high that he'll be your outside corner starter week sure, one. Sure. Sure. Um, you know, how aware are you of the, you know, the hiccup? I know Sauce Gardner lit it up last year, but that's fairly unusual, right, for a corner as a rookie to come in and do that. Uh, I mean, wh what are you expecting from Banks in terms of measuring at all the expectations versus the reality of how that usually is? The expectations is that he plays football. And, and like I said, you know, I, I brought up the Ted Lasso quote, and it's that's the way he is. He just, he, he's... He's a, a kid that's, you know, a smart kid that, you know, is grounded and he doesn't make it bigger than what it is. And, you know, I'm sure that they're going to catch a eight yard out on him and everybody's going to be up in arms, but that happens to every corner. So we'll be okay. I think uh, the expectation is there to go in there and play and play well. Wait, did you get, um, um, you know, or, you know, you had a, an interview in the off season. Mm -hmm. um, um, can you talk about that? You've done that experience before, and and, and what was your, the reaction of the guys here who want the best for you, but selfishly probably wanted you back? Um, I, you know, like I said before, it, it was a great process to go through. I think anytime you have a chance to talk to a different organization, and especially the owners, uh, you know, it, it's it's eye opening, and you, and you can learn things from it. You know how how they see the game, uh, you know where they see their organization going. So that part was really fulfilling for me. But and I've also said that you know this isn't a stepping stone job here. This is a destination, and I believe that, or I wouldn't say it. You know, because that's that's one thing that Jim Irsay and I have in common. I'm authentic as there is, and he you know he made that comment. He said, "I just love your honesty," and really that's what he's. 
he's the same way, you know, and, and it was a, a fascinating conversation that we had. Uh, and, you know, I just love the fans here. I love this organization, the Marin Tish family, Dave, Joe, the leadership of it, and the culture that we're building and, and we're continuing to build during these OTAs. Did any player of course. came back say yeah. anything that really hit me, other than, you know, what happened, you have anything yeah. that you struck? I mean, they're, they were all happy, I hope. But uh, maybe some of the guys that aren't here. But uh, but uh, they they were happy that that, that we're going to keep things the same way, and I am too. You know, so because you know you just it's fun to 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 build something from the ground up and see it all the way through, and that's what we have the opportunity to do. Wink, you've obviously had a great career that's still ongoing, and uh, you know you want to be a head coach eventually. Like, um, are you, a, are you at peace if it just doesn't ever happen for you? I, I don't have a problem sleeping every night. I'm, I'm at peace. It's, uh, I think it sounds a little dramatic being at peace, but I'm excited to you know, be the defense coordinator of the New York Giants. And the day that I'm not is the day that they say, hey, you're here, Wink retired. And every day I get up, I, I can't wait to get to the building and, and be around these guys. It's always better when the players are here because we find too much stuff to do when the players aren't here. <laughs> as, yeah, go ahead. As the season's going on last year, obviously all the questions about the run defense and you want different personnel, maybe you're playing, you know, we asked you a lot about the snaps for decks and everything else. When you go into the off season, obviously a concerted effort has been made to bring in guys up front. You mentioned Bobby to improve that area. Yeah. As a coach, when you see those bodies out here, I know last week was really the first time they were out here together. Right. What's running through your mind? I mean, it's it you know starting with Mr. Mara at the owners' meeting, so we need to get better in the run game. But uh, I think when you you look at, at at the season overall, take a deep breath and look at it. Our main focus, uh, you know, going into it, you know, with our roster and the players that we had was we were going to attack this season. And I, I said, there's two things I want to be sure is that we're great in the red zone and we're great on third down. And, you know, I thought that we, you know, did that and accomplished that goal. The other things will continue as we keep building, you know, through the program. And I, I think that uh, we're definitely headed in the right direction with that. You had, um, you had Xavier wear the green dot, obviously, last year. Um, Here we go, the green dot question. <laughs> so what's the calculus there? Like, why are you not determined he's definitely going to do it again, I guess? Well, I don't think that that's, that decision has been made. But, I mean, think about before we had the headsets. We signaled in. There's a guy that looks at the signal, and then he tells the rest of the defense what it is, whoever that might be. And that's basically what the green dot is. So, you know, we have five different guys wearing green dots, and we're, you know, seeing how the communication's going. We have, we've had great communication. X still has a green dot. Uh, Bobby has a green dot, you know, with that first group that's out there. And uh, we'll just see how that goes during training camp and everything else. But. Also, they, you know, they really are. I know a lot of people look at the green dot. That's the leader of the defense. Am I right when I say that? I won't put words in your mouth. Sure. But it's who communicates the best, who's going to be out there all the time. And this is my take on it, okay? And, you know, we go from there. Wait, can you talk about the edge rush, excuse me, the outside linebackers? You know, last year they had some injury issues. Aziz missed time, Ellerson missed, missed time. Did you learn enough about them? You really didn't make any changes in the personnel there. What do you like about them and what growth have you seen? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with that room and, and where they're going, led by Kayvon. Um, you know, you know, got Hottie back, which I was happy about. and. Uh, you know, I told the whole defense, wherever I'm at, Hottie will have a job. If, if he's done playing, he can hang out with me as a coach. But uh, I, I really like that room. I like its personality. Drew Wilkins does a great job with them. Um, they're leaders in their own right. And, uh, you know, like, um, I just think that if you've seen Z's, you know, and, and around him all the time, you can see that that's the best way I could describe it is a lot more sturdy this year. And we'll see how that translates because you know it's a it's a crazy league. But we'll see how that translates. Wink, Wink when you look at when you look at the inside linebacker spot next to Bobby, do you, th you think Beavers could maybe wind up being a starter there because he, you know, he yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah how, possibly. How do you view Beavers in that, we'll that other spot? No, nah, we'll see because it's all a competition right now. You know, with he and uh, JD and uh, I tell you, Mike has really improved. Did you what, did you have one? I did. Go ahead. Uh, what did the additions on the defensive line and free agency mean for your pass rush? Uh, 
I think that with the size of them, of them, and you've seen them, they'll be able to collapse the quarter. You know, collapse. Everybody thinks when they think pass rush is an in, you know, is the tackles guys. You know, the inside guys. What you're talking about, Pat? Yeah. You know, they they think of Warren Sapp and Aaron Donald. There's you know, God touched those guys twice. All right, and and these guys just been touched once. So just as long as they can collapse a pocket. You know, just like Dex did last year, and, and get the quarterback off the spot, you'll see a lot of good things happen. And I think we got the size and the ability to do that.